Hey guys, it's Marvin Young. Um, your kids already know who I am because they've spent the last two weeks with me learning about photography at the JCPS Literacy and Photography Camp held here at Burnett Avenue Baptist Church. It has been a learning experience for us all because I'm not really a teacher. And um, the good thing about it is that we all were able to learn together. I uh, shared with them on the first day that um, I learned, uh, started uh, dabbling in photography when I was about their age. Of course, back then we had film and we had flash cubes. We didn't have iPads and iPhones and, and digital cameras. One of the first things I shared with the guys is a concept called the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is a rule of thumb or guideline which applies to the process of composing visual images such as designs, films, paintings, and of course photographs. After the rule of thirds, we talked about the importance of standing very still and, and locking your, really locking your body so your images were sharp as possible. Again, with an electronic device, it's kind of hard to get an image, to handhold this device and get a super sharp image in the low lighting situations that we had. The guys also learned early on that photography is literally translated writing with light. And we talked about how the different qualities of light could affect a picture uh, either adversely or creatively. A lot of the work that I do involves doing portraits. These could be corporate headshots at corporate events. They could be one-on-one uh, -on -one sessions for various professionals. And um, I employ a number of different lighting techniques. So what we did during camp was create different lighting situations um, that involved either side lighting or a full frontal lighting, and uh, we just kind of tried to work on the best way uh, the best way to show our particular subject. And that's, again, uh, the major part of photography is, is casting your subject in a good light, showing their best side, and uh, just making all of the right moves. Uh, whether it's communicating with your subject, whether it's moving your lighting around so it's in just the right spot for them, or whether it's just simply uh, standing there and, and, and taking a picture and trying not to agitate things. So I want to leave as much time as possible to allow the guys to show you some of the works that they've created using their iPads, using the rule of thirds, using side lighting, and using the other techniques in addition to their own creativity, which they have a lot of, uh, during this year's Literacy in Photography Camp. I want to thank Jefferson County Public Schools for allowing me to be a part of this, and I want to thank Burnett Avenue Baptist Church, of which I am a member, uh, for holding this here. It is very important that we impart into our youth, especially, especially our young black males, that they can be anything they want to be. Thank you, and good luck with the rest of the summer. What I learned in literacy in the photography camp is what, no matter what you do, you have to try to make it perfect. The photography camp is about taking pictures and having fun at the same time. To take a picture, you have to be very, very still so your picture does not mess up. The best part about this camp is where you make the picture right. All right, turn to the front of the book. What's the name of this book? Very good. Go ahead and open and turn to the title page. Dorothea sees everything. Dorothea soon feels better, but her right foot flops at the end of a forever withered leg. Kids call her and she wants to mother whispers.
And um, um, one thing I like about this camp is when we go with Mr. Young and learn about photography and we try to take pictures in the middle and highlight and highlight it and when we're highlighting it it kinda of, it kinda of, kinda of fun. Wait, so the cameras that professional photographers use is different from an iPad and a phone camera. And how not just anyone can become a professional photographer. And the lower third, the middle third, the lower middle third, we also take pictures of people who um who jump up and they look bigger than a giant and everything. And that's what I learned in photography. This is what I learned. So no matter what you do, don't give up about taking pictures. 